I'm motivated. <laughs> I made myself a coffee. Maybe you should do too. Isn't that cute? I'm running a marathon at 30. Why? I have honestly no idea why I'm doing this, but I'm crazy enough that I decided to do this. So, so if you do not know who I am, I am Hüsche. I live in Belgium. I'm 29 years old now, but in three months, no, two months, two months. In two months, I'm turning 30. I'm in this weird last few months of being 29 years old and the last months of my 20s. I think this is a very huge topic, like wasting your 20s. Like, did I spend them well or not? The last few months I've been looking back like, okay, what did I actually achieve actually? And what didn't I achieve? So what I didn't achieve is I haven't bought a house yet. I'm not married yet. I don't have kids yet. Yeah, I have friends of mine who've traveled the world for like a year or half a year to a year. I have not done that either. Uh, I don't even have a driver's license and I feel proud that I dare to say that on camera. But I'm 20, uh, 29, I don't have a driver's license. I would like to say why, but I feel that may come across as an excuse. But then of course I also have to look at what did I do in my 20s. Um, I, went to, I went to college, so I, I did a bachelor's and a master's in art and film. Uh, I graduated successfully, actually also won a few prizes during my study, which at the time meant a huge deal to me and I was very proud of. But now in the big scheme of my life, they don't mean that much anymore. Those prizes just are wonderful memory in the past. Something I did do is move abroad after my, uh, during my studies and I stayed living abroad. So I moved from Holland to Belgium, which they are neighboring countries. So is that really an achievement? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I do have some savings. I, I wouldn't say I have a lot of savings, but I have a decent amount that if I wanted to travel the world, I could want to invest. Actually in a house, I almost could. It's a decent amount of money, but it's not something you uh, like jump. Woo, it's amazing, I'm rich. I'm not rich in any sense. I'm very, very mediocre, which is fine, I know. So what does running have to do with this whole story I'm telling right now? <coughs> Excuse me. My running story, to keep it short, I've been running um, since I was doing my studies. So during my studies, my bachelor, I started running. Um, very, build it up very slowly in a very smart way, but with the wrong intention. So let me explain. I started running because I thought I didn't look good. I thought I needed to lose weight. Um, I had some form of disordered eating. Um, and I don't think I want to go into that deeper now because I think a lot of people are dealing with disordered eating and there's a, it's a big spectrum. So yeah, I was not happy with myself, very teenage -y, typically student-y thing to have, I guess, for the period in my life. Um, so I started running, but actually during the way I really discovered a love for running. So back then, I kind of kept doing that. I did a half marathon at the time. Um, and a little bit, a few years later, I also did a half marathon. But it was always like running to do a sport. Like since I started training for now a half mar marathon, that's what I'm starting with. And it's in five days, by the way, five days. I've been feeling quite good, actually. I really have like a sort of personal mission for myself. Um, it's something I do in my free time, it has nothing to do with my work. It, it gives me a goal. And why running? Well, firstly, it's, of course it's healthy for you, but it's the most important point to completely get down to it now is endurance. Um, it's endurance physically, it's endurance mentally. And the marathon, I think, is 
of course both but I think personally for me it will be more of a mental challenge to push through and to deal with certain pains and certain tiredness and I don't know bodily things that happen <laughs> Uh, but I just want to do this for myself. It's You could see it as a big goal or you could see it as a really small one. Uh, it's up for your perspective on the thing. But for me it's kind of big and I want it to be big. So I'm letting it be big in my life. I'm taking whoever is watching this with me and if you're watching, follow me on this very awkward very amateuristic, very mediocre person journey. A little bit lost in life, but hey, I keep running. That's the only thing that's kind of solid in my life right now. That's it, I hope you enjoy. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these weird videos uh, and vlog type things. If you have also questions um, or things you want to see, I kind of am stepping over my own feelings of shame, so I would gladly talk or show you parts of my life. Thank you!